Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, today we have another mail day, a very uh, modest one, I can say. And um, we do have mail all the way from the Czech Republic. I'm surprised that it got here so early. I didn't expect this for at least two more weeks. So, I mean, mail from the Czech Republic is coming in faster than mail from Spain, Italy, even faster than mail from Germany. So I don't know what's going on with that lately, but I guess the post, because this is their logo, the Cheska post is outstanding. I have to give them big, big compliments. I guess this priority sticker really works. Um, yeah, let's, let's open it up. Let's see. I actually, I've actually worked in the Czech Republic for about half a year in a city called Brno. Really nice city near the border of Slovakia. Okay, and here we go. We've got some stuff here and I like this. It's not a top loader, but at least he's put another card over it and he's also put tape here so that it sticks. So I think that's a good thing. spoil it yet so this is the cover card Whoop. and here we have the card well actually I think this is also the cover card the cover card of the other side exactly this is um, is this Italian yeah Volaris flying so this is Italian card modern magic and this is the card that it's all about ladies and gentlemen and actually this is really a collection card um, as you probably know, I have a set of uh, antiquities, which is one of, one of the things that I collected when it was actually, when I just started playing, I was like 11, 12, and until like 14, 15, I collected antiquities cards. And uh, when I started actively playing again in old school, I found out that I still had my whole antiquities set. So that was pretty cool. But I found out that one of the cards was in kind of like a bad condition. And like the set is not a mint condition, but I wanted to get that card in a better condition. That's actually this card. As you can see, it's in pretty good, it's in really good condition, by the way. And I'm gonna change it here. It is, or flip it, I should say. It is the Shape Shifter. So six to cast. It's quite a unique creature. And um, artifact creature, of course, from the Antiquity expansion. And it says the stars below. So let's have a look at the stars below. So we see a stars dash and then a seven. So it's kind of, it's really weird power and toughness. It's not just star, star, it's star seven dash star. Like it's, it's really old school. Um, and it reads the stars below represent any number from zero up to six. You set when shapeshifter is cast and you may change it during your upkeep. And then we've got some nice flavor text Born like a phoenix from the flame, but neither bulk nor shape the same. Interesting. And then you've got like this person that's apparently where the quote's from. Jonathan Swift from the Van Brugge's house. No idea. Absolutely no idea. I don't think it has any role in the lore or not that I know of. So if you're watching this and you know who, who Jonathan Swift is and you know what the Van Brugge's Brooks, whatever house is, let me know in the comments below, you know, always, always interested uh, to hear. And the cool thing about this is obviously I can play it as a, a one six if I need a solid blocker. And then in my upkeep, I can change it as soon as I see an opening, um, you know, somewhere on the, on, on the board, I can say, I'm going to change it to a, uh, to a six one. I think I could, I could see myself playing this. I've actually played it in, um, in old school commander or maybe old school singleton. And let me just show you the condition of my other card that I'm actually going to replace. And I, I made a video by the way about, uh, cause this is my uh, antiquities collection. So this is the binder. So let me just get the shapeshifter card out. Here we go. So this is the, this is the other shapeshifter. This one is in, in just a pretty awful shape, to be honest. And um, 
Not that I mind, I think it's very much playable, but just for my collection, I felt like, you know, I could get, I could get a better card. So quite happy that I found this one. And uh, that's it for today. So very short video, little, little mail day, little mini mail day. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of Shapeshifter. Would you ever play it? Um, and I just want to thank you for watching another video of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, uh, you can do so by leaving a like, leaving a reply, share this on your socials, become a sub if you're not subbed yet. That really, really helps. And also you can become a sponsor of the show by becoming a Patreon, or I should say by becoming a patron on Patreon. And there's pro probably a link popping up right now. You can click the link and you can check it out so you can see if it is something for you. I would really appreciate it if you would consider it. And talking about Patreon and the patrons, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at the fantastic, amazing patrons of Timmy Talks. Ik het als fikkertes somba kan zien.